Hi guys, how are you getting on? Are you alright? There's only two days left till Christmas Eve and I hope that you've done all your preparation and that you've got all your gifts and you've done your grocery shopping and everything and tomorrow you can take it easy and then the day after you can start cooking and uh, doing the last preparations for the Christmas day, you know and it actually depends on country in my country, which is Latvia, children get gifts on the 24th, which is the Christmas Eve. But here in Ireland, children get gifts uh, the next morning, the Christmas Day, when Sandy has been in the house and then children come downstairs and they get their gifts and they get their stocking fillers and uh, Sandy has eaten... <laughs> his cookies and milk, that's a tradition here, you know, but uh, anyway, regardless of which country you live in, most likely you're going to celebrate Christmas, unless of course you live in a Muslim country, but then again, Christmas, at least for me, is not so much about the religious aspect of the whole thing, as much as it is about enjoying the festivity, you know, thinking good thoughts and uh, contemplating the year gone by, and think about things that you have done and you haven't done and uh, then you can uh, have a nice break and then new year comes with all the new resolutions and uh, new projects and uh, new work that has to be done but this is a very peaceful time so no matter what nationality background what religious background you come from I wish you a very Merry Christmas which is gonna come in two days time anyway, you know. And today we're going to look at one particular new English idiomatic expression which is slipped my mind. The infinite form of the verb is obviously to slip and then followed by the rest of the idiom to slip one's mind, you know, but you're not going to use this expression in this form. You will never ever going to say to slip one's mind as part of a live conversation. You will only ever say, it slipped my mind, you know. So that's how you actually have to learn this phrase, it slipped my mind, it slipped my mind, and then put it into some sample sentences, repeat them, memorize them, and make it part of your, your uh, active English vocabulary. And here's a typical sample, or example rather, on how to use a sentence. Uh, the phrase, to be more precise. Uh, basically, it means, I forgot. It's quite simple and quite straightforward, you know. It slipped my mind, I forgot. And uh, most commonly, it's used when you forget to do something. Someone asks you, say, for instance, your wife or your girlfriend asks you to take out the rubbish bin in the evening and uh, or the trash can, as they say in the States, right? Rubbish bin is the more English, British version, you know. And anyway, the next morning she asks you, did you take out the rubbish? And you go like, oh, sorry darling, it totally slipped my mind. I was so consumed with all, with all the Christmas uh, grocery shopping and uh, all the other preparations that it totally slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. And uh, here's another example. Say, for instance, you are asked to complete a particular assignment at work and uh, again, you are so overwhelmed with the whole Christmas thing and uh, obviously today is the last day at work and uh, you forget to do what you're asked and then come January, you go back to work and your boss asks you, listen Johnny, did you did you send that email to our, to our supplier and did you ask them for a discount for next year's uh, delivery? And then you tell him, I'm so sorry, it totally slipped my mind. We had so many deliveries to take care of on the very last day. And obviously you're making an excuse, you know. Actually, there were not that many deliveries that you couldn't have uh, accomplished the assignment that the boss asked you to do. It's all about your Christmas preparations, and because of those, you actually forgot to do it, you know. But you, you obviously blame your tight schedule, and you tell him that you forgot to do it by using the phrase, 
it slipped my mind. It totally slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is it too late now to send the email? And then your boss tells you, of course, it's too late. It's New Year. It's uh, it's the beginning of a new financial year for our suppliers, and uh, we're not going to get the discount. And on that basis, on these grounds, I'm firing you, and you're gone. You know, that's that's the New Year for you. <laughs> this. This was obviously a joke, hopefully such a scenario is never going to come to fruition in your lives. And that's it, my friends. It slipped my mind, means I forgot. And use this phrase when you forget to do something, and then you apologize to that person, and you tell them, oh, I'm so sorry, it totally slipped my mind, it will never happen again, I promise. But of course, these promises are soon forgotten, and we are all human and things are forgotten again and sooner or later we will forget to do something again and that's when that phrase will come in handy once more to slip one's mind and remember as i said don't use it don't memorize and don't learn this or any similar phrases in where the verb is in the infinite form to slip one's mind which is even worse you know because as you will try to use that phrase in a conversation, you might involuntarily bring up that form of the phrase into your mind and it will creep into your conversation. And then you'll go like, I, I, sorry, totally slip one's mind. And then the person listening to you will wonder why did he say it slipped one's mind if he actually meant it slipped his mind. So he sh should have said it slipped my mind, you know. And that's a typical uh, bad vocabulary association and I've discussed these things in depth on my blog and if you have enough time you may want to check out this article where I've looked at this particular issue. But anyway guys, this video is getting a bit too long again. I'm getting too carried away as it often happens with me because I just can't stop talking. I just can't stop talking with you guys. Okay, thanks for watching and see you soon in another English idiomatic expression video. Bye-bye.